Hello guys, on this video we will do a very basic mandala effect that it's letters moving around with complicated shapes. So basically, basically we need letters. We have it here, a text plus with a lot of letters. I did something long because we will need a lot of letters. And then I will just pass the form over a spline. Then for the spline, we need to create some kind of interesting shape. You can use freehand that will be there freehand and you can draw whatever, but then you need to move points and you need to be creative with it. What I like to do is to start with a mesh that I think is interesting. I normally use extended primitive, a torus knot. If you create a torus knot, you will see that it's a little different than the standard torus knot. That's because I took these values there, four and three. By default, I think it's two and three, yeah. So four and three, and you can play with this because doing different things, it will create um, different interesting shapes. I think this is interesting. Then you can play with the number of segments. So depending on how many shapes you want will be the number of sides. Let's add, I don't know, seven shapes and play with the twist as well. So if you want something more complicated, you increase the twist and the letters will go around these torus. Also, the thickness of this is important. I will go maybe with a little the radius a little bigger. So it's something more interesting. Now, next thing that we need to do is to convert this into edit poly. Press two to select uh, segments. Now do ring and loop. So we select all these edges there. Now we have create shape here and I will set it as a smooth, okay. So now we have a spline there. We can hide the mesh. We have these interesting shapes that I think it's pretty cool because this to do it manually will be super difficult. Now what we need here on this text is to add a path deforming top. Um, I like it to use with X because I found it easier. And path deform, it was in Mac Science forever, but in 2021 update 3, they had a lot of improvements and also it's way faster. We need to select the shape. Uh, now one thing is that the path deform axis will be Y or X, so it will be X. And now you can play with the percentage. And as you can see, they go, it's jumping across the different shapes. Maybe we have more uh, letters than we should need. Uh, what we can do for that is to take the, the spline. Maybe do it bigger because it becomes very messy. So we can scale that and automatically you can see that it's getting fill. But I think that actually we need less uh, letters, but because it's quite fast, we can go to the letters and delete a little of them. We don't want so many letters here um, getting over. Something like that, it's okay. Uh, something that it's interesting on path form as well is to use the preserve form. And we can see that very well on, let me try to grab some letters that are stretching there. We can see this E there. It's getting the form a little weird. So you can use preserve form and then by element. So each element will conserve the, the element shape. So it will not be deforming. It will be moving along the spline, but not deforming the element itself. So that's interesting. And then the another thing interesting is the loopback. Loopback, if we have any remainder, it will basically automatically loop back. So it will be maybe overlapping somewhere, but it's interesting to do it this way. I will hide the spline. So now we have something really cool. Uh, a very interesting shape. You can look it from different places. Uh, some other cool things to consider here will be uh, you can have, for example, twist that here we will need something quite big. So this will, the letters will be twisting around them. And actually we need to animate that to make it interesting. So make sure to be on to linear mode, auto key and 10% maybe between 39.6 and it will go to 41 maybe. You 
can play with that and actually I don't know I didn't have this selected so let's do it back between 40 and 41 one percent I think will be enough and yeah here we have this interesting effect that by itself can be very cool uh, we had a lot of improvements in update um, 2021 update 3. One of it is look at, so we can create, for example, a point, a point helper. And now if we go into look at and we select this point, the letters will look at this point. So you can see it moving around that you can um, define where they are looking at. You can create other interesting effects with this. Uh, more things is that we have um, texture coordinates applied spline ten percent. This is to apply the letters will re retain the coordinates of the spline. So if the letter is on at the beginning of the spline, it will get u equal to zero and it will go to the channel ID uh, material ID one. Then another thing is adopt shape material IDs. This will acquire the material ID from the splines. So to do that, let's unhide all, hide selection. On the splines, if we go into spline mode and I select this spline, here we have materials ID, so let's select one. This will be material ID two, let's select two randomly. This will be material ID two, and maybe we can add another one that will be material ID three. The only thing to do is to create a material. So we can create, for example, a physical material. Uh, let's create, I don't know, something bluish. This can be greenish. Let's make it a little obvious. And this one will be stronger blue. If we add this into multi -sub object, we only need three because we only have three. Let's apply this into these letters. And you need to go into path form and select on adopt shape material IDs. So now you can see that each one acquired a different material ID. Let's maybe make it a little more obvious. And yeah, that's all. That's the tutorial about the new path form. There are a lot of cool stuff. Maybe my favorite is that it's way faster. It's seven to eight times faster than before. So with complex shapes like this, now you have real time feedback that before was maybe quite slower. And you have a lot of things like the preserving material like this from the spline, uh, using the 10% the of the spline to drive the UV or double B maps. You have drive and rotation curve so that you can define curves, um, offsets, and yeah, check it out. I think it's pretty cool. And that's all, guys. Thank you so much. I will have these to be downloaded for my Patreons. Thank you a lot to all my Patreons that support doing these videos. And see you soon, guys. Bye.